Hi again, welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to clean this carb out. It's actually an LHP 16 and they're fitted to the mount field sort of engines that they're on a lot of mount fields and other mowers actually. Um, this particular one is going to go on a Sovereign, but it's a SV150 engine. Um, I'll show you a photograph of that now. So let's get started. Um, firstly, the nut is actually already loose because I um, took the uh, O-ring out the other week for another car, but I'll get one of them or find one of them. So just take it off. It's pretty clean, this one. Look in there, it's pretty clean, but I'm just going to give it a clean out because I want to make sure that there's nothing in anywhere. So all I've done is, did that a bit quick, I uh, took the pin out of there and there's a float, all nice and clean. And then I'll just there's the needle valve that's all done i'm going to take that um main jet out in there and then there's a tube above it which you can just see in there you can might be able to just see the top of it so um i've got a different screwdriver i use for that uh, which one is it? it's usually this one that usually does a trick i would assume this one isn't too tight but no that's i thought it'd be okay because the carb is so clean so just unscrew that. There we go. So that's the uh, main jet, which I'm throwing about. Um, and then the tube, which actually isn't quite loose yet. I'm just gonna, um, what I usually do, and it usually works, I find one. I just push that down with a pick. Just push it through there and push that down with a pick. It was loose, it's gone down a bit. So I should be able to tap that now and it should fall out. There we go. So what I'll do, I'm not gonna be able to show you very well here. You can see through there, that hole's usually clear because it's so big, but it's, oh yeah, we can see okay like that. You can see they're clear. They're clear. They're clear. I think they're clear as well. I will just spray that with some carb cleaner and blow it off, but that is that is clean. But as I got it out, I'll just do that. Let's see if that is clear. Yep, that's clear as well. Just do the same with that. Um, so yeah, this carb, it looks very clean if you look at it, doesn't it? So um, we have that there to take out. So let's get that out. There we go. We have that, that is clear through there, that is clear through there, and I will just butt the end of the carb spray to the end of that and see if it's coming out them side holes. I'll do that in a minute, so that's nice and clean. Um, don't believe there's anything else in there. I can just blow all this through. So what I'm gonna do is put a glove on. There we go on carb spray on my hands. This is a carb spray I use, quite a common one you see on eBay and that. But what I do, I change the end because the end they come with is a red end and you can't put a straw on it. So um, I put a different end on so I can put a straw on it, which works fine, much better. So I'm just gonna bl firstly blast the, just them down like so. And then, like I said, that's clear anyway. So I'll do this. Tell you what you can do as well, which I usually do. Because the gloves get a little bit um, soft and sometimes split with a carb spray. Just hold it with some grips like that and then do it like that. Happy with that. This is one that's a little bit more tricky to do because you have to butt it up quite close and watch your eyes. Actually, I'm gonna put safety glasses on. There, to prove I'm being health and safety conscious, even though they're a little bit scratched, these ones. But this stuff does sting if you get it in your eye, so you don't particularly want to. It's happened a few times. Try and get it right on that tip. 
it is flowing through okay i'll try and show you if you just look at it I think you can sort of see that, but it, that is clear, so that's fine. So um, I'll just go over, I'll take my straw off now. I'll just go over the float, that was clean as well. Go over that and just put it to the side, let it dry off. The pin, just a quick spray over that. Also with the needle valve. You see how the gloves go, look, they've all gone funny now. So now the main carb. We've got a few areas we've got to go through in this few holes. For a start, I'll go through that one and then I'll come out of there. Or it should do. Yeah, actually, we'll go the other way. It'll probably be easier the other way. See, so it's through there. We've got one there. That's coming out of the pipe. That's for the primer. So we've got done them. Got this one here, where I took that little one of them from. Now where that comes out from. I can see that up the central tube. So that's clear. Got that one there. more there if you can hear it coming out the other end you know you're winning and then just give the carb a general clean down and get the air and just dry it off um, I'm happy all of them are free I'll just check that one once more there Get right on it yeah that's coming out into the, the it's coming out in there that one yeah there's one thing i forgot and to do the complete um carb clean it's the adjuster one there. So what I'm going to do is screw that all the way in. Half, one, half, two, about two. So I'm going to take that. So it's about, I'll take it all the way out and then it's two. Screw it right up and it's two out. Two turns out. So then I can just blast through there. And I can see it coming out there. So yeah, I'll put that, I'll just put that one back in, that all clean on the end, just give it a bit of a wipe, but that was all clean. So we'll screw that one all the way back in. Two was tight, so that's tight. Half, one, half, two. So that's all done. I'm going to blow that off with the airline now. It's just one thing I didn't do, and it was the bowl. Which isn't too bad. Tiny bit of surface rust in the bottom. What I do with that is just get one of these little wire brushes and give it a bit of a... It's not too bad. There's a little bit in the bottom, but that's not really going to make much difference. It's pretty clean, that is. And then give a wipe down. Now I'm just going to blow it all off so I'll get the compressor sorted. So now we can blow it all down. I've um, lowered the pressure on the compressor so it's not too, too thick. That's all that's needed. Just any little bits of, any little bits of crud or anything on there. Just gets all clean. a little bit on there it's just it's 
nice thorough job and then you won't have to take it off again because it should all be good. This is generally the one that causes the most problems. It's the one that will block up. But let's have one more look through there. See it's clear. Put that there. There's the main um, bolt that holds the uh, bolt on. And then just give the carve a good blow down. I'm well happy with that. Um, I'm just going to get a new piece of rag or something on the bench and then I'm going to put it all back together. So it's all pretty straightforward. I've got all the little bits here. The one thing I haven't got is that ring there, the O-ring. I'll get that before the end of the video. So get all that put together. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. So on these ones, the little needle valve just drops in the hole. Don't have to hook it on the float on these. So now we want to put the float back in. So it just goes on there like so, and you've got the little pin. If we can get that in line and get it through. There we go, we're right there. So yeah, that's in. Um, we've got a can do this the opposite way. Ideally, I suppose these bits go in first, but it doesn't really make any difference what way around we do it. Then that one, I've just pushed that tube back in. Actually, I'll get that back out to show you again. So the tube goes in that way, the small end at the top. So you want it going in that small end. Then the main jet. Screwdriver, tighten that up. Not silly tight, just tight. So, yeah, we're actually done apart from that ring. I'll get that ring and then we'll finish the video off. So now I've got the big O ring. It's actually a second hand one out of another carb. So if you do that, sometimes you have to stretch them slightly because they sort of shrink a little bit, but that one's fitting in spot on like so and then uh I'm ju i just work out which way it goes with the yeah i'm gonna have that at the front like there because this is the front of the carb i'm gonna put that on there actually i might do it that way around just so you want that o-ring to stay nicely in place otherwise you'll have fuel leaks somewhere i've got the little bolt and just tighten that up. Actually, I should do it with. Ideally, you shouldn't use the impact on it. I was going to, but tighten up like that. And the final piece to go in is just that jet back into there. Tighten that up. And that's it and there we go that is one of these little lhp 16 carbs been cleaned out and yeah that should be good to go now so i'll get that back on the mower and yeah all should be good so i hope this video has been of some help and thanks for watching and i'll be along with another video again soon so bye for now